Hey guys, here's where to find Starfield's best Class C ships. First up, the Dragonfire 2. Now, this ship can be purchased from the Eolos Retreat vendor. In Eolos Retreat, this is found on the planet of XL2 in the XL system. It can be found to the northeast of the Crick system and east of the Cheyenne system. There are a number of Class C ships here, but the best by far is a Dragonfire 2. For starters, it has seven crew slots, which is the maximum amount of crew slots you can have in the game, plus a whopping 2,790 cargo capacity. Add to that particle beams, ballistic weapons, and a strong shield, and you have a great Class C ship. Now, Class C ships do require piloting level 4 on the tech skill tree, so you will need that before you're able to fly any ships you'll see in this video. You'll also need around 300,000 credits, as that's how much these ships tend to cost, but you can reduce that by 20% depending on your rank in the commerce skill. It's really worth it though because Class C ships are the best ships in Starfield and the Dragonfire 2 is one of the best of the best. Next up, the Polis. You can grab this from Gagarin in Alpha Centauri, which is located here. Polis is a great transport ship with 850 for shields, 2,700 cargo capacity, and room for six crew. It's similar to the Dragonfire 2 in that it's not really designed for fighting with weak lasers and middle-of-the-road ballistics, but it's also cheaper than the Dragonfire 2 at 227,448 credits. So you can save around 70,000 credits if you're willing to sacrifice a bit of firepower. It definitely looks dangerous anyway with two massive cannons on the front and two equally massive cannons on the back. The next Class C ship I recommend checking out in Starfield is the Crimson Fleet Ray. You can find this on the key Star Station, which is in the Crix system. Now, you do have to have started the Crimson Fleet questline in order to access the key, which you can do by committing any crime in New Atlantis. You'll be locked in a jail and have the option of going undercover in the Crimson Fleet faction. Anyway, once in the key, speak to Jasmine Durand and get a look at her ships. All of them, it turns out, are crimson which uh, yeah kind of makes sense and the best of the lot is the crimson fleet wraith which has a strong firepower a 705 shield rating 1760 cargo capacity room for six crew and a very reasonable 199,940 cost so it even gets below the 200,000 mark and it's also got a pretty distinctive look it looks kind of like a tube carriage but stacked on top of each other like a tube carriage looking at its own reflection in the water. You will definitely feel like a Crimson Fleet pirate in this thing.
We are heading to Paradiso on Parima 3 in the Parima system for our next ship, which is called the Abyss Trekker. The Abyss Trekker is one of my favorite looking ships in the game with its asymmetrical form factor, looking like two different ships bolted together. It's got this turquoise side compartment and a white and gold main bit, which just looks really cool. Only 340 cargo capacity, which is pretty bad, but 196 ballistics and 105 for missiles make it very strong when it comes to dogfighting. Make war, not peace in the Abyss Trekker. Also, I love the cockpit orientation at the back, which gives you a view of the whole ship. All yours for a cost of 292,420. Time for something a bit more unconventional now with the Narwhal. You can grab the Narwhal from Neon in the Volley system. Once at Neon, head to Raijin Industries and take the lift to the Teo Astroneering Department. Here you can purchase the Narwhal, which is one of the best and costliest ships in the game, but for good reason. It's got a maximum crew capacity of seven, which is one of the few ships in the game to offer that. And on top of that, you get a cargo capacity of 1,760, which is huge, and a lightning fast engine that gives you great maneuverability in dogfights. You also get a powerful shield system, ballistics, lasers, and great power distribution. Also, come on, check out that tusk. That's why they call it the Narwhal. Pay a visit to the new homestead settlement on Titan in the Soul System to get your hands on the Crossbow. This Class C ship is designed for endurance with a very healthy 600 shield rating and powerful engines. It's not quite as good as the Narwhal, which has 995 shields in comparison, and its weapons are lacking, but with the Crossbow, you're paying for the form factor. This thing is big and it is complicated. It may not have amazing weaponry, but Still, it is a Class C ship at the end of the day, so you're going to be the best ship in most battles. And everyone will look at your Class C ship and go, wow, that is a Class C ship.
we are off to Hopetown on Polvo in the Valo system for a Class C ship called the Vindicator. It's basically a big turtle. Great shield, room for six crew, decent lasers, and decent ballistics. The Vindicator doesn't excel in any area, but it is a fantastic all-rounder. So if you can't decide exactly what Class C ship to get, you can't do much better than this. As for the look of the thing, I really like the side loading cockpits. Always good not to have to run around the back of your ship and climb up a ladder every time you want to board. You've also got triple engines and a creamy white paint job. Very Star Trek vibes here, which is courtesy of Stroud Eklund Parts, which is probably one of my favourite ship manufacturers in the game. My man Walter Stroud cannot miss. This costs 215,080 credits, so very, very reasonable. Last but not least, head to Aquila in the Cheyenne system for this ship, which is called the Stronghold. It's the most protected ship in the whole game. It has a ludicrous 1,600 shields rating, making it the most shielded ship in Starfield. It also has 2,200 fuel, doubling that of its nearest rival, so you can get wherever you need to go, and 2,360 cargo, which again is massive. This is the equivalent of an ocean freighter but covered in Kevlar armor and mounted with loads of guns but like one that's covered in Kevlar but one but one that's like covered in loads of armor and guns hands down for me the best transport and cargo ship in Starfield so really good if you're hauling around contraband and want to make some money it's also weirdly got that tiny sort of TIE fighter cockpit on it rather than a big bridge which is odd for such a massive ship but hey it works this is yours for 320,100 credits but you'll make way more than that back just by hauling around all the stuff just by hauling around all the stuff you can sell Three, 